A pleasant day, STEM learners. This is Sir Peter, your pre-calculus teacher. For today's discussion, we will now proceed to week number five, more problems on phonic sections. So at the end of this video lesson, you should be able to transform the standard equation of a given conic into its general equation. Are you ready to learn the general equation of conic sections? Now, let us recall the standard equation of a circle centered at 0, 0. So remember this one, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. For circles with center at hk, it, must, it now have an x minus h part and a y minus k part. So the standard equation is the quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared is equal to the square of the radius. Next. For the parabola with vertex at 0, 0, we have x squared is equal to positive negative 4cy. These are parabolas which opens um, upward or downward. While parabolas which opens to the left and right have a standard equation is equal to y squared is equal to 4 positive negative 4cx. Now, for parabolas, vertex at h k, again, it now has x minus h and y minus k part, respectively. The opening of the parabola also follows depending on the quadratic parts of the standard equation. For the standard equation of the ellipse center at 0, 0, we have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equal to 1. Well, if a squared is now on y part, meaning that is now the bigger denominator compared to the x part, we now have an ellipse center at 0, 0, which is a vertical ellipse. For ellipse center at hk, simply put the x minus h and the y minus k parts following the same format. Did you see the pattern? Now, for hyperbola center at 0, 0, observe the minus sign in the formula and also the x minus h parts for center at hk. a squared and b squared did not interchange, but it is only the x part and the y parts which interchange values. So it will depend on the type of hyperbola whether the x part is positive or it is the y part which is positive. On the first formula, this is a um, vertical hyperbola. I mean the horizontal hyperbola, and this one is a vertical hyperbola. Now, the general equations of second degree equation in two variables is this one. So we have ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. Notice bxy, usually for our conics, this formula is omitted because for conics, you can observe that x squared and only the y squared which appears. And then sometimes there are values for dx, ey, and the constant f. Remember that a, b, and c should not be equal to zero because if one of them will not will be equal to zero, then that will become non-quadratic. Okay, so the second degree must be there, the squared. Okay, it must be present. So here are the general forms. We have the circle, x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. Notice that for the x squared and y squared part, it should have the same coefficients. 
Next. For parabola, notice that only the y squared or only the x squared, which appears as quadratic. Well, for the equation of the ellipse, the coefficient of x squared and y squared respectively are different. So A and C are different values. If they are the same values, then that is a circle. If they have different values, then that is an ellipse. Notice that there is also a sum indicated from the squares of x and y respectively. While for the equation of the hyperbola, if you see the minus sign, then that is a hyperbola by inspection. Now, let us rewrite the given standard form of each of the following conics into their general form. Let's have the first example. The quantity x plus 5 squared is equal to 4 times the quantity y minus 1. So all you need to do is to square the left side, square the binomial. So how do we square the binomial? We square the first term. We have x times x is x squared. Multiply the first term and the second term twice. So x times 5 is 5x, then get twice of it. So that is 10x. Then square the last term, that is 5 times 5. So that is 25. Then apply the distributive property on the right side of the equation. So we have this one. 4 times y is 4y. And 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Next is we simplify it as a general form in which on the right side, we will equate it to 0. So we transpose. So we have x squared plus 10x minus 4y. So we transpose positive 4y onto the other side. And then 25, we transpose 4 onto the other side. So that is plus 25 plus 4. Let us simplify the similar terms. So we'll have x squared plus 10x minus 4y plus 29 is equal to 0. This is now the general form of the given conic. Observing the general form of the given conic, not it's only the x part which appeared in here. So meaning, this is a parabola which opens upward. Any question? Let's have another example. Again, let us rewrite the standard form of this given equation into its general form. Notice that the sum is indicated. So meaning this is an equation of an ellipse. So to transform this one, we need to find the LCD of 9 and 4. So the LCD is 36. Very good. So multiplying both sides of the equation by 36, So let's have 36 times the first term. So we can sell 36 and 9. So that will become 4 times the quantity x minus 4 squared. Next, we multiply 36 to the second term. So we have um, 36 and 4 will be canceled. So that will be plus 9 times the quantity um, y minus 3 squared is equal to 36. Now we perform now squaring a binomial. So we have 4 times squared the first term, x squared. Negative 4x times 2 is negative 8x. We squared the last term, so that is positive 16 plus 9 
we square the first term, so we have y squared. Multiply the first term and the second term twice, so we have negative 6y. Then square the last term, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 is equal to 36. Now let us simplify by applying the distributive property. So we have 4x squared minus 32x plus 4 times 16 is 64 plus 9y squared. Um, minus 54y and 9 times 9 is 81 minus 36 is equal to 0. So I already transpose 36 onto the other side. So we simplify by arranging the terms of the general form. So we have 4x squared, xy is missing. So the next part will be 9y squared, then the x part, the linear part, negative 32x, and the linear part of y is negative 54y. Next is we add 64 and 81 minus 36. So 64 minus, I'm sorry, plus. 81, 145 minus 36. So that is 15, 9, 100, 109. So that is positive 109 is equal to 0. Did you get it? So this is now the general form of the ellipse. Notice that in an ellipse, there is a sum indicated between the x squared and y squared and four and nine are different because this is the value of A and this is the value of C. In case of a circle, if the desired equation is a circle, then we also have a sum, but it will have the same. For example, three x squared plus three y squared. This is an example of an equation of a circle. Okay, but if they are different, then that is an equation of an ellipse. So the question is, how do we do the reverse? How do we transform a general form into its standard form? We will answer the question on the next video lesson. So for the next video lesson, you will learn how to identify the conic section by inspection. Did you learn something for today? Here are the references used in this presentation. Again, this is Sir Peter, your pre-calculus teacher.